Well, we had a booking for New Year's Eve, so okay. So we're going to spend New Year's Eve there. Okay. And uh, more broadly, how are you feeling about the restrictions that are put in place at the moment? The advice is, of course, to stay at home as much as possible. Well, we find it a bit ridiculous if we can come over to Spain. The, the, the problem is we've had three three solid months of confinement, you know, mm -hmm. and at my age, you know, I need uh, to go out and about, you know, and do some exercise, and uh, we're getting the, the best of the both worlds. We, we keep to the rules, of we course. We've had the, the COVID really yeah. bad, and we've been more than t nearly two, three weeks, and he's been very depressed, so we need a bit of... Well, you know, in my view, this is my opinion. Uh, uh, this this could have been prevented if we stopped the uh, aircraft c coming in, you know, because the, the this train was in the UK and the planes were coming in, you know, with no controls whatsoever. This I is know, my opinion, I you know. know. I think most people aren't going to uh, be stuck in their homes. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's quite normal that no one's going to be stuck at home. Uh, and here's the proof, you know, um, especially when you've got young kids at home. Mm -hmm. We've got a five and an eight year old and to be stuck in an apartment. We already had been isolating for 10 days, so... Yeah. Yeah, yeah we've isolated already for 10 days, so um, we didn't feel like spending another day. I mean, it's not, it's not something we're going to do every day anyway. Don't think of anything and just let the politicians do their job because I'm going to stress out. This is yeah. every day. I'm going to spend now one hour here now. Um, as someone who crosses the border very frequently, um, do you notice today is particularly busy for the time, or...? Yes, no, you don't see any queue, normally at one o'clock. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been here 20 minutes, I think I'm going to be here at least one hour today.